Coming down to high school memories. You were in class <laughs> and you just like decked me right <laughs> It has been a wildly busy couple of days. I just released a new video with Kiki, so check it out up here. We got some running around to do. While we do it, I'm gonna tell you guys a story. The story starts a few days ago when I was hanging out with Sharla. I'm gonna go to the snack store. You know that one that I featured in the uh, Tokyo Tuesdays? Yeah. Uh, our day is done. Our vlogs are finished. There's this beautiful Temple up here. Oh wow, I've never noticed that. When you see the temple, that's how you know. Wow, I was just watching it this morning and now I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> so weird. Charlotte's going all fangirl on me. <laughs> Whoa. Kids working hard. It's like every kid's dream right there. I'm jealous. Simply put, we uh, we bought too many snacks. Way too many snacks. Okay, back to that day. How did you feel the first time you ever saw a shop called <laughs> Hard Off? Hard Off. Actually, my first like house ever in Japan was right near one, and I loved it. It made me smile every time we drove by. <laughs> so you know, I go down to see Sherry in Shikoku pretty often. Yes. Links up there. One of the first things that I do. After getting off the plane, I will go to a giant hard off. <laughs> and I will shop for N64 games <laughs> and just anything cool yeah. that I can find. They're not that common in Tokyo. They're not. The one, one, my first house was up in Iwate. You know, over the years, I have accumulated three N64s. What? <laughs> three. Are they like special edition ones? Nope, not at all. Oh. Did you ever have that one like Christmas present as a kid that you wanted more than anything? Oh, and you never got it? And you never got it? Is that the N64 for you? That was the N64 for me. <laughs> so when I grew up... I bought three. <laughs> it was an honestly interesting day. And on the plus side, we got a lot done. Like it was probably one of my most productive days out of this year. And we ran into a lot of Charlotte's fans. Like, a lot. Uh, hi! Oh, nice to meet you. Here. Last time. In total, how many fans have we had come up to you today? Five, I think. Five groups of fans. <laughs> really cool. That's no. just... Did she just say hello? She's just like, hello! <laughs> <laughs> Um, and that one other guy in Akihabara. Right? I knew there was more. Six. All in all, I would say that we've had a pretty good day. Yeah. All right. Back to that other video. And that was pretty much the end of my day with Sharla. The rest of the day was dedicated to video editing. And as soon as all the video editing was done, I went out and I got to meet a friend that I have not seen in probably 15 years. My buddy Camille from high school. This is Camille, we go back, what, 15? Way more, we go back to high school. Pretty long time, yeah? Pretty long time. Camille came in from Canada and he was just here for a week, so we decided to stay out pretty much all night. The night wasn't originally planned to be like that, but it turned out pretty awesome. Going to the convenience store, get some drinks, and do a bit of a tour of a Saksa. Camille said no Sapporo because we have that back in Canada. Something real. Are you a beer man? Are you a whiskey man? Uh, more beer than whiskey. Uh, I'm gonna go. Bye bye. Every time I buy a drink or something, I gotta hold on to the trash until I get home, essentially. Yeah, there are no garbage cans in Tokyo. Actually, there are, but they're few and far between. Okay, so a little bit of a side note here about the garbage. If you've ever been to Tokyo, you probably already know this. If you haven't, it's something that you're gonna wanna know. There are not a lot of trash cans right in the city. Since I get a lot of questions about this anyway, I figure I might as well just answer it right in this vlog. There's a few reasons behind this. So the reason for this all started back in 1995 when a cult group here in Tokyo did a subway gas attack. 
After that, Japan decided to really lock down security and they kind of copied some other countries who had taken away garbage cans after some terrorist attacks so that there would be less places to hide things like bombs, such on and so forth. Since then, a ton of other theories have emerged as to why it is this way and why it stayed this way. Everything ranging from A, it helps keep Tokyo as clean as it is. But more than that, a lot of people say that it's tied into Japanese culture where eating in public is not such a big thing unless you're at a festival. Since you shouldn't be eating in public anyway, Japanese people think that there's no need for garbage cans. Should you find yourself in the need for a garbage can, your best bet is going to be to go to a convenience store. Most convenience stores will either have a set of trash bins either outside of the convenience store or somewhere pretty close on the inside. So, hope that settles the trash dilemma. Okay, back to the night with Camille. This is it? Yeah, this is uh, Kami Narimom, the Thunder Gate. Rome. Wait, I'll figure that out later. It's a lot of syllables. I don't want to leave. I really don't. It's just... You know what will really, really mess with your mind? <sighs> there we go. I was actually going to walk all the way down to the temple just to show but I think I was making you a little nervous. Well I'm just I'm just in shock. Like it's a total culture shock here. Coming down to high school memories. Programming class <laughs> with our teacher Bernie. I think his name was Bernie. You were in class wearing a black sweater with a red piece of text on it and it said it had a circle around it and then like an A letter. Ah, the anarchy sweater, and yeah. I'm like, and I, I didn't know what it means, so, <laughs> you know, to me it just meant OA. And I'm like, what, what does that mean? And I just blurted out, eh, original apple. <laughs> and you got pissed. And you just like decked me right in the shoulder. <laughs> I was like, what the f? <laughs> Camille and I spent pretty much the entire night doing photography, sneaking onto rooftops and hitting up different bars and restaurants. <laughs> the guy's too drunk to drive his bicycle straight. And one of my favorite parts of the night is the fact that we closed off the night by trying this bottle of Polish vodka that I received as a gift nearly two years ago. I've had that bottle just sitting there waiting to be tried and this gave me an excuse. Did I mention Camille is Polish? I have this here which is Polish vodka. Is it well known Polish vodka? Yeah. Cheers. Or na zdrowie. Na zdrowie. What? <laughs> Doesn't it taste like spicy cinnamon apple? What? How have I gone two years without? What? All right, I'm not gonna be able to hold the camera anymore tonight. I'm gonna jump in there and say it again. If you haven't already checked out the new video that Kiki and I made, check it out. It is by far my favorite video that we have made yet. And you know what, just for the sake of it, I'm gonna to toss up the behind the scenes of it as well because that was a very, very fun video. How do we get these kimono clad girls down here? And I 
wanted to give you guys a heads up that another Q&A is coming. Uh, if you haven't seen any of the other Q&As, I'm going to leave them in the description box below. Check those out, and if there's any questions in there that haven't been answered that you'd like to know about, leave a question. Lately, I'm also taking questions on Twitter, which I'll leave here, and Instagram, which I will leave here. Definitely follow me on Instagram because I leave a lot of stories on there. And that brings me to a question I have for you guys. I'm thinking about doing a podcast along with this as well. Pretty much just for the Q&As or Japan tips, something in the background, something that you guys can listen to rather than sit down and watch. Maybe you're on your commute, maybe you're going somewhere. If I started up a podcast and I tossed that up on like iTunes or something, would you listen? Also, one more thing. This is an important one. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that bell icon down below that turns on the notifications. Notifications, people. I want to see that notification squad in the comments, all right? Thank you, guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you guys soon.